What's up everyone, what's up Alan Rapashi and Mike, um, I'm here today to do the contest entry for the Rapashi Superfoods giveaway, um, and yeah, hope you guys like it, um, let's get started, um, so as you can see right here, I have many different tanks, however this isn't all of it, there's others around the house too, um, um, so yeah, I have many tanks with many different fish that need many different food requirements and um, I just like to say that if it's possible I would rather have um, um, a little bit of solar green spawn and grow um, shrimp souffle and community plus instead of one big packet just because um, I would rather have all my fish on a healthy diet instead of just one type of fish um, and yeah so right here I have crib fry that have been hatched for about three weeks as you can see they're not very big um, and I'm pretty sure that's because of these um, I don't think that it's a high enough quality high enough quality food for the fry and um, that's why they aren't going very fast uh, and yeah so spawn and grow will definitely help them a lot in growing up faster and have, have a healthy life and stuff um, here we have the crib adults parents um, they're in here somewhere here's the female in the mail. Um, yeah. So they I only feed them flakes and um flakes and shrimp and that's it because they won't eat anything else. Um this I got for them. Let's see focus. This I got for them. Um a while ago. I try to feed it to them. They just spit it back out because I think it's too compact for them to chew or for their liking and so they just spit it out. They don't really eat it. So that was a waste and I think the Community Plus will definitely be a great one for them because first of all it's a good formula and it's <clears throat> it will help them have more color and and that will result in healthier fry and more survival survivors and more hatch eggs laid and yeah and second because they can eat it whenever they want and it just stays at the bottom and they don't have to worry about chewing it it's a gel so yeah um there are also four bristlenose puckos in here as you see there's one they're pretty big, I'd say four, four, four inches or so. Um, pretty much adults now, uh, and they all they eat is algae wafers. And I'd like to get them a little variety in their food and have them eat some solid green, as well as um, the algae wafers. And here is my community tank. I've got tetras and. Um, tetras and plecos and shrimp and quarries, plecos, um, yeah, so they're all in here. The Community Plus will definitely be a great one, um, since, um, I feed them the Tetramin Flakes and Hikari Micro Pellet, oh, there it is. Takari micro pellets, um, which is a great food, but the the ember tetras can't fit them in their mouths, so they have to eat the flakes, and that's flakes aren't really that good of a food, so um, the community plus will definitely be be a good one to have in their diet. Um, they can eat whenever they want, and. They, again, they don't have to worry about size issues, 
and they don't need to worry about <clears throat> their ability to chew or not. Um, and yeah, so the shrimp in here will eat the souffle or the shrimp souffle, and that will enhance their colors. As you can see they're not as bright as they can be. Um, let's see, focus. They're not as bright as they can be, and um, I think the shrimp souffle would definitely help. Right now, they're just on algae wafers and whatever that's around. Um, and again, the plecos for the solid grain. Um, and I've got a shrimp only tank or shrimp tank with autos um, that that will soon have crystal red shrimp so they will definitely eat a higher quality diet um, and yeah so that's pretty much all besides my reef and beta um, downstairs I have uh, I have a 55 gallon with angels and um, I'm gonna put some rams in there so they'll eat the um, community plus and yes uh, if I forget anything else I'll put it on the screen um, I which will probably pop up everywhere but yeah hope you like the video and choose me to win some food thanks